Good morning, traders. Just wanted to go over our pre-market action plan um, from our email sent out. Today is May the 12th, 2020, and just want to give you guys an update. And for anyone that does not get the action plan, there is a link in the description below. Okay, guys, the first stock which we entered yesterday, MU, Micron, on the 30 minute, we have a squeeze going on, building up based off of what the open looks like it's gonna be. We're gonna open back up above the 200 day, which is good. We did get an early buy signal the last half hour. This is a 30 minute chart. So I do expect this squeeze to fire long midway as long as the market behaves. Obviously, if we're watching MU, we should also be watching the SMH, which is the ETF for the chips and just watch the chips in general. But what I'm expecting today is for MU to midway fire off and give us room to this cluster where we have a fib cluster at 4971 and 4982 if we break that we will test the 100 day at 5049 other thing i like here we're in a squeeze on the daily so that's mu that's one to keep on the charts for today second one from our action plan is jp morgan obviously the banks got slaughtered yesterday i think they got a little too overdone what do we have in JP Morgan that I like for possibly a swing that I'll email out later in the week? We have a squeeze forming with increasing, well, decreasing momentum, which means it's gonna to increase to the upside. We call this a bullish nested squeeze on the daily. Okay, the squeeze, the momentum died down. I think JP Morgan got a little hit too hard yesterday. So we do have a gap to fill, which would be at 92.16. So as long as we're above 9077 and the 21 EMA on the 30 minute chart, I plan to watch that one, watch the momentum and possibly take it long to the 9217 and we'll see what happens from there. We do have the mean at 9281 and that's the daily mean guys. Um, so we do have room up to there. Got to watch how the banks are behaving. Pre-market, it looks like we're opening up about a dollar. So we'll see where the options are. I'd probably look at the 93 calls for this because now the stock has moved down from our original write-up price on the action plan. Second stock, third stock that I'll be watching today. IBM. Um, got a nice little bull flag forming here on the 30 minute. IBM's gonna open up, not too crazy. So it's one that could give us entry. We'll drop down to a 10 minute early, I suggest, and uh, see what the 10 minutes doing. Watch the squeeze there. If we get through that 123.40, we do have room to 124.65. IBM will be a slower trade, so for traders that are not as quick on the trigger finger, we could watch this one. Um, your exit would be 121.92, which is the 50 day EMA. So on any entries, you drop below and close on a 10 minute candle below that. You want to exit the trade. You can always get back in. Commissions are basically nothing right now. Um, what I like here is we got an early entry on the daily. So I'll be looking at that one also for a swing possibly for a few weeks. Because um, we got an early entry signal with a pretty big squeeze going on. I just would like to see the momentum go up a day or two before we uh, act on that. So that's IBM is our third stock from our action plan that I'm watching today. I'm watching them all, but these are the key ones I found this morning. And the last one, which is going to be an exciting one, because this thing's going to move, is Wingstop, W-I-N-G. Okay, what do we got here that I like? Uh, recently make all times highs, 80% of the time, I think 80 or 85% of the time, stocks that make all time highs continue on for the next five days. Um, what else do we have? We have a squeeze. The squeeze is getting tighter. Red is tighter than black, so it hasn't even fired. Momentum's increasing. There's things that this pop puppy's about to go. Um, we're already fired long on the daily. So we're all up to FIB levels now because we're in uncharted territories. So I would go for, well, there's a wide spread here. We know at least it's going to open up 127.50. I would probably go for like uh, one, let's take a look. I don't want to tell you what I go for until I see what they actually have. 130s are probably going to pop up in price. If the 130s, if you can get them under $1.50, I'd go for the 130s. If not, 135s, try to catch them for like 35 cents. And a nice $3 move would get us a double in that stock. So wing, 
is the last one on the list and I can't get back to the other screen but let's go we'll go to the main chart here yes it looks crazy because I did hourly fibs I did all kinds of fib levels for us basically if this thing pops 130.105 is our first level with 131.98 so that's a cluster then we got clear sailing to 135 there was nothing in between so this baby can definitely go we saw it had the uh the squeeze which we'll get back to let me go to one of my other charts for you guys there it is let's pull it up let's go to that 30 minute that i was looking at 30 minute squeeze so it's nice also here not only we did 30 minute squeeze we're right at the mean see that so on the 30 minute this white line is the mean everything eventually reverts back to the mean so we reverted back to the mean if you look at this it's a huge bull flag see upward trend flagging out um i definitely think we can break this get up to those areas in our target area the 13105 13198 that's a cluster so that'll be the toughest to get through but if we do break through that you guys have seen what this thing could do um plus big squeeze 135 last time we had this kind of squeeze what did we get we got when it fired just to give you an example 121 all the way up to that candle 124.79 so three dollars so three dollars from here would be about 130 i think it's got a little more in it obviously because the price is higher now um and it's got a longer squeeze and upward momentum one two three four five plus the two low squeeze six seven so it's a seven dot upward momentum squeeze that's all we have for today any questions dm me on twitter and have a safe trading day speak to you all later